Welcome to the Irish Fireside. My name's Corey, and today I'm giving you a peek into some of the tricks I use to book a rental car in Ireland. For this exercise, I visited seven popular car hire sites. I searched options for the same date, same duration, similar car types, and I ran these searches on the same day. That's because car hire prices are based on demand. So depending on when you run your search, rates may vary. And car rental is not a perfect science. These seven companies are not the only options out there, and searching on different days may completely change the results you'll see. This sample also has some nuances you might not even know about, like Enterprise now owns Dan Dooley, Cons Ireland Car Rental works exclusively with Hertz, and CarHire.ie is partnered with Europe Car. So the same rental desk might be representing several brands, and even though you're getting your keys from the same representative, you might not be paying the same rate as someone else. So doing your homework can save you money. It's important to note that each rental company has its own fleet of cars, so we're not really comparing apples to apples. So I did my best to choose cars that were in a similar class. And remember, when you book a car, you are booking a class of car, not a specific make and model. So the car shown in the search results might not be the car you get. In fact, it's usually not. Let's look at what my initial search turned up. You'll notice there's quite a difference between the lowest and highest price options. But there is a problem with that low price from Dan Dooley. The quote doesn't include any insurance. And if you rent a car in Ireland, there's a minimum amount of coverage you must carry. Now it is possible to use car rental insurance offered from your credit card company or some other source, but be warned, many of these companies exclude Ireland from their coverage. If they do include the Emerald Isle, you'll need to bring written documentation and sign a waiver that you're taking full responsibility for any damages when the car is returned. And you'll have to sort things out with your insurer on your own. Now when we add in Dan Dooley's cost for insurance, you'll see it more than doubles the cost of the rental, which opens the door for three other companies to beat their rate. Just so you know, often when you book with a third party, your quote doesn't include insurance or the amount of coverage might be unclear. So you'll want to check and double check before committing. And I would never recommend waiting until you get to the rental desk to buy your basic insurance. Before you book, there are a few more things to consider that will help you determine which quote offers the best value. The deductible varies in these quotes. And let's face it, an extra 800 euros can really add up if you have any damage to your car. And will there be two of you driving? If so, there'll likely be an extra daily charge for a second driver. Are you planning to drive in Northern Ireland? If so, some of these rates only cover the Republic, and they charge more if you plan to take the car into the North. Does your rate include all taxes and fees? Companies that advertise their rates include everything. Well, they're usually pretty good about sticking to that, but it can be frustrating to find extra charges when you arrive at the rental desk. And if you can't drive a stick shift, also known as a manual transmission, you'll be paying more for an automatic. One more thing you might want to think about, and that's buying additional insurance, or Super Collision Damage Waiver Insurance, which usually brings your deductible down to zero. This can add a lot to the cost of your rental, but many visitors like it for the absolute peace of mind it offers. When we add in the super coverage, the rate from Cons, which looked high earlier, turns out to be the best value in this instance. That's because their rate already included that extra coverage. And with Avis, I wasn't able to easily get the rate for their insurance, so that one I left blank. For good measure, let me tell you about some of the extra charges that might bumble your plans, and I'll include an estimate of what it might cost if you miss them when booking. If all taxes aren't included, it could tack on an extra 25 euros, and airport fees and other charges could add another 35 euros. But no, many of the rates I found already included these costs, but it can be hard to tell. Adding a second driver could add another 85 euros or so to a week-long rental, and let's say you made a big mistake and you booked a rate that didn't include insurance. The rental agency can't rent to you without that coverage, so this will drastically increase your cost. I suggest you admit the misunderstandings to the agent and ask them if there are more affordable insurance options available. Remember when I told you different people may pay different rates from the same desk? Well, there's a chance they'll be able to dig up some kind of discount. I've made that mistake in the past, and asking for a better rate did help, but there are no guarantees. Most insurance doesn't include damage to the tires or the windshield, also known as the windscreen, so some companies offer that as an add-on for, say, about 25 euros. 
Rental companies can also rent you things like a sat-nav GPS device, mobile internet, and child car seats. Not all the quotes I found included roadside assistance, so that can often be added. Many renters don't realize that most car hire companies will put a hold on their credit card unless they purchase the super insurance coverage. That hold can range from 1,000 to 5,000 euros. So you'll need to make sure you have that much available credit on your card or you'll be forced to buy that extra insurance. Consider this a deposit and it'll be returned to you when the vehicle is brought back without damage. Some companies will also charge you for a full tank of fuel at the rental desk. When you return the vehicle with a full tank, the charge is refunded. And if they tell you to return the tank empty, realize you also have an option to return it with a full tank. Just make sure the person checking in your car marks down the full tank when you turn it in. And double check your credit card statement for the refund. I always try to return the car with a full tank because it's usually cheaper to buy your own fuel. I'm constantly asked which rental company is best. And I'm reluctant to recommend one company over another because things are always changing in this industry. Plus, I could go online and within minutes find hundreds of reviews from people who either love or loathe every company on my list. However, when you look a little closer at those reviews, a lot of the complaints stem from visitors not knowing what they'd need versus what they actually booked. So in many cases, it is the consumer who didn't book what they needed. But let's be honest, many companies make it a little too easy for customers to make mistakes. So the blame, in most cases, should be shared. If you're booking with a travel agent, I'm afraid I need to warn you that a lot of these folks don't understand the ins and outs of car hire in Ireland. So even if they tell you the price includes everything, check your paperwork carefully. At the moment, Cons Ireland Car Rental is the darling for folks looking for upgraded insurance coverage and transparent pricing. However, on my last trip, I booked with carhire.ie and the price quoted was the exact price I paid. That's not to say the other companies aren't good options as well. And if you're planning to be in Ireland for an extended time, Europe Car has short-term leasing options that include several extras as well. Now, I hope you've got a bit of confidence in understanding the ins and outs of car rental. The process can be frustrating even for veteran visitors. So it's important to know what you need, what you're getting, and what you're paying. If you're not sure what's included in a quote, contact the rental company directly. That's the best way to get answers. And if you'd like more information on Travel to Ireland, visit irishfireside.com.